Hello everybody, uh, I'm Georg from Germany and I got today this um, 3D printer set, it's uh, the Rostock uh, 3D Max version 2 from CMC and C. And this is going to be a review for the printer. Um, I'm totally new to the 3D printing, so this is my first one. And I'm computer scientist by training, so I'm, um, I'm good on the software side and the hardware let's see. So, enjoy! So now it is uh, four hours on the clock. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy. Um, we managed to build the, the the base here. Quite a major part of the time was to build up this uh, cover, but the the parts are really well done. They're really nicely cut. Everything is is perfectly done. It fits well. So. I can say so far I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So, <clears throat> I forgot to mention that um, I don't have this high temperature silicon, so that's why I skipped the um, step with the um, Onyx uh, hot plate and continue to build the tower and I will um, squeeze the hot plate in later on. Well, I spent now almost three quarters of an hour to um, um, to get the cables through and, and this kind of thing, so this was a little bit of a pain in the ass uh, because the um, cables got stuck uh, a few times, so I used one of these bare wires uh, to, to pull them through. This, this worked out pretty really here are mounted, they work all very well. This was pretty easy. I only confused on one of them the sides of these uh, plates, so I had to disassemble it again, but it wasn't really a problem. I have only one minor problem that I don't have the uh, proper uh, inch type um, Allen keys, these kind of things. For, for for these screws, so it's I think uh, 746 or something, and I have even uh, a set of of inch type um, Allen keys, which is probably rather rare here in Europe, but this one was not in. But fortunately, I found a fitting other other bit. It's called it's almost like a Torx bit, but it, it works. So all right. So 
here we are. I installed the belts on the cheapskates. This went pretty well. I have about then nine hours uh, to go this far, but I had to skip uh, the steps with the hot end gluing and also with the heat, heat bed because I didn't have the um, high temperature silicon and the Copton tape. So this is what I'm going to do now. So here we are. Look at it. The mechanical part is is ready. The belts are fastened. Everything is tightened. The the heat the, the hot end is mounted. I also attached the some uh, connectors for easy um, detachment. The only thing I really did differently was that at the beginning I confused the X and the Y tower so I have now did other cables through the X and the Y tower which made the wiring up here a little bit different than in the manual but I think it doesn't really matter. Uh, I spent now 13 and a half hours so this one already uh, cycled once around. On the other side I use this clock if I have some unforeseen problems which I just had because three screws are missing. Uh, I only have metric screws so I had to replace also the nuts um, but it wasn't really a big deal. One thing I'm not so sure about is the length of this Bowden. It looks to me that it's a little bit too long at the moment but uh, let's see. So guys, the thing is complete. I can switch it on and it works. It even tells me something in contrast to the menu. There is apparently some firmware installed which tells me the temperature and everything. Well, the only thing I confused were the cables for the LCD. I switched A and B, whatever. Now, now it works. So it took me in total about um, 17 hours to get here. And yeah, I'm very curious to, to see how, it's, how it prints. So it works now. We had first some problems with the connection to the Rambo board because I have Linux here and we had to change the bout rate. But now it's working and all the switches work and the entire system, the cheapskates and the motors work in the right direction. 
and now we are doing the um, auto tuning for the PID control and let's see. Okay, I'm still not printing. I had um, some problems with the thermistor in the test bed, which suddenly stopped working. It was at minus 20 degree and then def uh, defect. It, it appeared that a little, a little wire directly the one from the thermistor broke. So I soldered it again very carefully and there was again a little a little crack. So then I soldered it with lower temperature. And normally I soldered with 350 degree, then I went down a little bit below 300, and then it works now. I don't touch it anymore and I hope it works. So either I have a very fragile one, I don't know what I did wrong. So this was really a problem, it took me some time and now I'm calibrating. Here you see it actually moves. Put, let's put the sheet of paper underneath and now I have to adjust the, the screws. I won the lottery and the calibration works right away, everything is flat. I only had to calibrate the uh, three um, stops, stopping screws here and everything was done. So the problem was not the filament uh, diameter but actually the extruder here. You know, this lever has a little play, a little clearance, it can, it can move back and forth. And so when I constructed it, I had this, to, but then when it works it goes to the, the other end and then the filament uh, slides off to the side and then it, it, it doesn't transport anymore. So I have to simply move this, uh, this gear a little bit to this side and then probably it works. So yes, it's printing! It looks really good! The entire printer, I think, makes a really good impression. Uh, I'm really satisfied so far. Uh, the print looks good. And, well, let's draw a little resume. So I spent, time-wise, I spent 19 and a half hours about to build until I got the first uh, print halfway through. The, the other print was not successful because of the extruder stopped. And I spent about three hours uh, on problem solving that are not meant to happen, of course, but it's a normal process. So one was the extruder, and the other thing was the thermistor, and a, a, a few other small things. So, great. Well, one thing I didn't say at the beginning was that I'm also, I'm, I'm experienced with hardware a little bit. Uh, I have uh, RC. Uh, helicopters and model airplanes and so that's not the first thing I, I, I was building. Um, the other thing I, I have to say is I had only small intervals of time to work on it. Um, sometimes only half an hour or maybe two hours in the evening and not extended times to, to, to build it. Uh, and also this time is really the total time so I, I didn't read before, I didn't download software before I really just took the thing, took the manual and went step by step through it I did a few things out of order because I didn't have things prepared but otherwise I really went through the manual and, and the manual is really good so I have the printer now in operation for about five days and I printed a couple of things I started with ABS to print the uh, fence uh, holders and then and I had to adjust a little bit the extruder factor because it, it just put out too much plastic and then the, the fence didn't really fit in uh, and so on and then after a few calibration pieces and a couple of misprints uh, I printed uh, this little cellular lamp here which looks really beautiful it could be a little bit more accurate but it's still pretty good. And then I switched to PLA, where I got really good results. I could print a bridge like this, which is uh, perfectly straight. Then I printed a couple of things here, one thing for, for the kids, for the uh, wooden track uh, the train. Then this little elephant with the moving legs also came out very nicely couple of other things for the household and then today I printed this uh, Tower of Pi which uh, took quite a while and unfortunately it got it stopped at some point for 
for a reason I don't understand yet. Um, and I have uh, a little problem with, with this uh, fine hair that that remains. But otherwise, it's it's really good quality. The printer uh, makes a really good impression to me. Uh, I don't have much experience with, with uh, 3D printing before, but this is really a, really an excellent machine to start. I can really recommend it. The manual is good, the, uh, the forum is, is there with a lot of people to help, and yes, it, this is a really good machine. Thank you very much for watching.